Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Happy Women's Day to all the sisters on the birth anniversary of Alima Ghere Muallima. As Hazrat Zainab grew up, many of the noble men and great men of Arabia asked for her hand in marriage. Among the men who were eager to marry Hazrat Zainab was Abdullah ibn Jafar, the son of Jafar ibn Tayyar. Prophet Muhammad had mentioned that Jafar flies in the heavens with his two wings. He was known as the father of the poor among Arabs. His son Abdullah had inherited the same attitude. All the historian refer Abdullah as a very gracious and generous person. Some people call him the master of generosity. Abdullah took a great part in jihad with Imam Ali. The battle of Safin, he was one of the commanders of Imam's army. Like other suitors, Hazrat Abdullah was interested in marrying Hazrat Zainab sallallahu alaihi but he felt embarrassed so he sent a courier to Imam Ali and offered the proposal Imam Ali accepted his request and kept Hazrat Zainab's story equal to her mother's however this wedding has one condition Hazrat Zainab should be allowed to travel along with her brother Imam Hussain alayhi salam finally this wedding took place Abdullah was a very wealthy man He had big house with lots of servants but history witnesses that Sayyida Zainab never got attached to worldly life she was a pious woman in the perfect sense piety in her vocabulary was exactly what her father depicted the best evidence of Sayyida Zainab's piety was that she left her comfortable life and wealth for a divine and holy goal She put her condition for marriage she should be allowed to travel with Imam Hussain to fulfill that goal She was a kind and generous lady and a loving mother But when it came to defending Islam and the noble Quran and her religious duty she would sacrifice her children as well Who is like Sayyida Zainab sallallahu alaihi wa Despite of having all the wealth she never got attached to worldly things she opted homelessness hunger and grief over a loving family and prosperous lifestyle her holy goals is this anything except islamic piety are we following the path of sayyida zainab have we sacrificed our wealth or comfort or at least our nafs for the imam of our time We should stay ready to sacrifice whatever we have to please Imam of the time the way Sayyida Zainab did for the Imam of her time. We should always prioritize Imam over personal affairs. We should live in this world without getting attached with its affairs and inhabitants. Please share your suggestions and feedback in comment section to support the cause. Please like and subscribe our channel.